Hi guys, it's Andy from Man City Fan TV. We're back with part two of the Friday Night Social. Well, don't forget if you haven't seen part one, part one was just us talking to the guests about what they've been doing over the last week. Uh, and um, also the main topic of part one was about Carl Walker and our own thoughts, what Twitter has said about it and what we think um, about the whole situation. But anyway, uh, moving on, we've got a couple of parts we're going to do and go through quickly. First one is today, uh, uh, Premier League have made a statement and then what we're going to go to is the golden question. So first off, guys, uh, the Premier League today, we're not going to go into transfer news, Leroy Sane or that nonsense, but the Premier League, I've uh, have, have made a statement today, which... I read it and I was thinking, my lord, uh, of all the days to come out and make this type of statement. Um, and the title in Sky Sport, on Sky Sports was Premier League to warn clubs over voting against neutral venues. Now, as we know, uh, that's been around for the last couple of weeks. Is uh, They're hoping to try and do this behind closed doors, which we know. We know fans there, but uh, now it's over. 12 stadiums rather than three which was originally proposed and it says at least 14 clubs need to back the proposals before games can restart and in the article it says premier league clubs will be warned this is the language warned at a meeting on monday that the season not restarting at neutral venues could cost them more than relegation and they must consider the long-term consequences of voting against the proposal. The six bottom clubs, Brighton, West Ham, Watford, Bournemouth, Aston Villa and Norwich, have reservations about proposals to finish the season by playing at neutral grounds without fans. They believe giving up home advantage could affect their chances of staying up and compromise the integrity, which is key, of the competition. However, they will be warned that the protocols for games restarting could be in place for the start of next season, so they need to think about the long-term consequences of voting against playing at neutral grounds. So, uh, I'm going to come to you first, Cal. Um, I mean, I've used several words there. Warned. So they've actually been warned by this governing body that if they vote against this in this democracy... If they're entitled to a vote, they're entitled to a vote. But they've been warned that if they do, there could be consequences. And the clubs are saying that, it, you know, playing in neutral grounds is against the integrity of a, of the original competition. So what are your thoughts on that? I think the clubs are absolutely correct, Andy. I think they're absolutely correct. And I hope that right now it's six. And I hope that City become the seventh one and cancel the whole season. Or stop it. Let, 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 the, you know, the Premier League talks about the integrity of the competition, right? So they want to play in neutral stadiums. Yeah. Yeah. So if I'm uh, Norwich and I've played Liverpool at home, now, now Aston Villa gets to play Liverpool in a neutral stadium. Where, where's, the, where's the advantage? Away. Integrity. Definition. The quality of being honest and having strong moral principles. That's not a Premier League, I'm sorry. Right? Definition. That will... That, that, but that's what the the prem those six oh there could be more but they're only quoting the bottom six. There that's what they're saying is that the, if we do this, it's, it is going to impact on the integrity of competition or the competition. The moment the break happened with the Premier League for six weeks, the integrity was gone. For mm. example, Harry Kane comes back now, and the season was was being played. He wouldn't be back because he's injured, right? Yeah, the integrity is gone. So will hear Huming song. For yeah, Tottenham. yeah, yeah, yeah. Integrity, yeah. integrity yeah. is gone. You have yeah. players who were injured who are now back. Integrity is gone. Neutral stadiums, integrity is gone. Now we have, what, five substitutes in the game? The integrity is gone, Andy. Yeah. The same season that we started off with is not going to be the same season that we end up with. Yeah. It should be over. It's done. Move yeah. on. Plan for January or, or December. I think I, I think one of the things with this is, and I think what all of us here, we need to establish first before we move deeper into this conversation. And and this is the language we we use because it's one thing I've, I've I mean as you know I've listened to thousands of debates on this, I've been involved in thousands of debates on this on Twitter and on radio and things like that. But 
Are we saying null and void in the season, or are we saying just cancel the season, give Liverpool the title, and 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 this is the language because we're not. I don't even think I'm quite sure is what is the correct language to use. Are we cancelling the season and say right, finishing it now, and that's called cancelled, or nulling and voiding, which means nobody wins anything. We don't win. We don't go through. We don't win the FA, uh, the Char- Community uh, Shield. We don't win the Carabao Cup. We don't. Are we talking about let's just cancel the season and go Liverpool are the champions? Uh, the three relegated teams are relegated, or another sort of like you know another way around it by adding extra two teams or three teams. Let's say, but I- can- cancelling or null and voiding. What 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 sort of language can we I- agree on for this conversation? For, for me, for me, I've always said that the season ends as it is right now. Liverpool are champions. Uh, promote uh, West Brom and Leeds to the Premier League next year. Twenty-two teams scrap the League Cup for next year. Use the time to play the games and have a playoff for the Champions League. That's it. Move on. So, 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 so can, can, can we agree in that type of thought process is called cancelling it? So, so can we remove the null and voiding? Unless any any of you you guys think we should null and anybody here on this, you know, live vlog that we're recording think that we should null and void actually so that's it scrap nobody wins anything we start again when it happens anybody anybody here think we should yeah. null and void I, I did start with that and now I've changed my mind a little bit all right it's it's, it's a 50 50 I'm on a 50 50 with it because I've seen some news today that City and Liverpool are against the idea of a 23 uh, league uh, 23 team league yeah so Liverpool, to me, seem like they don't want to win the title like that. Teams don't, uh, and they don't want other teams to come into the league. So to them, from what I'm seeing, they've changed their tune, and they either want to carry on the season behind closed doors or just null and void it. So I think they need to listen to some of the top teams now in what they're saying, especially Liverpool, because we've, this is what mainly the debate's about, is if they win the league or not. If we listen to what they want, and if they say, yeah, we're, we're fine, like Juventus didn't say, we don't want to win the league in this sort of situation, then there you go. Then you've got it sorted because they're the sort... If big teams and they all come together and make a good decision, then you, you've sorted it then. So, 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 I mean, Chris, I don't know. Where, where do uh, you stand? Where do you stand on? Just quickly, where do you stand on? Null and voiding, cancelling, whatever you want to call it. Well, I really like Carl's idea, actually. I really thought that was a sensible idea. I think the idea of sort of cancelling the season and saying we never win the Carabao Cup. Well, no, no, no. That'd be null and void in the season. Yeah, that, 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 this is the thing with the language yeah. that's being used. Because that competition's done and dusted. It's, you know, there's no point saying we didn't win it when the whole competition was played through to its you know, final conclusion. That's just ridiculous. Uh, the Char- Charity Shield I couldn't give a stuff about, if I'm honest about it, if I'm really honest about it. Um, but... Um, no, I think that I, I really like what Carl's just said. I think, you know, promote West Brom and Leeds and uh, give Liverpool the title and play with the 22. And, and if we have to lose the Carabao Cup next season, I think that's a really sensible way forward. OK, so so we, we're in a we've agreed that we're talking about the terminology in, in, in this debate we're having now about the Premier League warning clubs cancelling, not null and voiding. Yeah, because because this is the language that's been thrown around for the last six weeks about null and voiding, cancelling, whatever it might be. Cancelling might mean cancel the season as it stands right now, and we'll come up with a solution to relegation, promotion, blah blah yeah. blah. Null and voiding means that's it. The season is finished. Nobody wins anything. No records. Sergio don't break those records. We don't get a Community Shield. We don't get a Carabao Cup. We don't do whatever. I know there are implications in Europe because that's still going to continue. But so if we use the terminology cancelling, mm. okay, which means we're going to we're stopping at the moment. But there Should could we say be. Close, there, and, oh, should we say close? But it's not going to be closed because they're still wanting to continue. Yeah. That's the thing, and this is the thing with the terminology that's that's being used. And, and we might all go, yeah, no, but I, yeah, no, I said this, but. I didn't mean it null and voiding. I meant it this, and I didn't mean cancelling. I meant we can continue. The, the language being used at the moment in the media and Twitter and every social media is 
nobody knows what's the right language to use because we because they all mean different things to the individual. So if we can say cancelling for this debate, cancelling means uh, the the season will finish as it is, mm. and there will be discussions on promotion and relegation and things like that, rather than null and voiding. Martin, you want to say something? Uh, yeah, it's it's a difficult one, because I'm going to be honest, I don't fully agree with Chris and Carl on this 22 thing this season, because I do, I do, if you think about that, you're looking at, because you, you're not going to be able to just promote two teams, because then you can have the legal battles from the yeah. third place team, and everyone else who fought like Billy O to get third place. And the way they view it is they're going to a playoff. So you're changing all the integrity going down from the championship as well then. Yeah. If you want to do that. You, you've got to think of the integrity going down the other leagues. So you will lose that. Um, and the problem is, yeah, you might get rid of the Carabao Cup, but you're still going to have to play 42 Premier League games plus championships. Then you've got to get them ready for the Euros next year. So they're still going to have to do international games. You, you, you I, I just think you're going to absolutely burn, you're going to burn everyone out doing 42 Premier League games. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to jump in here. I'm going to jump in at the moment because it's, that, that question isn't about what we think should happen, what we shouldn't, shouldn't happen, what the dynamics are, because everybody has got their own opinions on how to proceed and things like that. My question initially was about what were your thoughts on the Premier League turning around and warning, warning those six bottom clubs that if they veto or vote against the fact of neutral stadia, then the ramifications for those six clubs could be more severe for them. Yeah, no, I mean... This season well, and next season. What are your yeah. thoughts on, on, on that stance? Yeah. Forget about how they finish it, what they finish it, whatever. I'm not, I'm not, I'm really not bothered because I think everybody has discussed this to death um, as to what their own thoughts are. And I don't think anybody will ever agree in total on it. Uh, yeah. But how does that, Tom, how does that make you feel thinking, I post, I tweeted today saying, um, I can't remember what my words were, but you know, on, of all days when we're celebrating getting rid of tyranny 75 mm. years ago, today what we've got in a democracy is we've got the head of football turning around and warning, almost like a big finger warning, you veto our plans to get this going and get money and get everything else. You do that, the ramifications for you in the future are going to be dire. Where's democracy in that if it's a vote? There's, there's nothing. There's, it's ridiculous because it just shows you for who they are. We've we've said it all along. It's all about their back pocket. If if, if clubs don't want to play, they, they don't have to play. They've got enough money. They don't have to play. They can take them to court. Look at us. Sergio's scared of going back. If we're looking at our club, other clubs will have different debates. Sergio's come out and said he's scared of going back. Now, if that's a full 24-man squad, coaching staff, they're scared to go back then who's going to force them to play? Each individual person is their own person. And if they don't want to do something, they don't have to do it. And it just shows the Premier League for who they are. What gives them the right to tell people what they can and can't do? Chris? Uh, well, I, just before coming on, uh, I read for the Villa chief exec, Christian Perslow, and he was saying that Villa have got six home games left to play. Yeah. Um, yeah. And they pride themselves on their home but yeah. know, performances. Yeah. Um, so, you know, how does that, where is the integrity that a yeah. team isn't going to get to play their home matches, you know? Uh, home advantage plays a significant part. Of course. Of, of, of es especially at this time of the season. Yeah, exactly. absolutely. So, and, you know, Villa second bottom at the minute. Yeah. You know, this is a massive thing for them. They spent a hell of a lot of money to get yeah. into the Premier League and they look like they could drop out of it. I mean, I know there's parachute payments, but it doesn't mean that they're going to come back straight away. Yeah. Could it could ruin them, you know? So yeah. I don't blame Villa. I don't blame any of the teams down there for saying to the Premier League, stuff you, you know, we, you know, it's our future. This isn't a future about the Premier League. This is a future of Brighton, of of uh, Watford, or Wolves, yeah. or oh, sorry, not Wolves, a uh, 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 Villa, West Ham. You know, 
what they, they should have their own interests at you know as the being the most paramount of importance to them and not what's the most important for Liverpool, City, United, any of the top six, because with the, all, all these big teams with, with all the money, because they're going to be all right at the end of all this. You know, we might have to reduce our transfer kitties and uh, maybe not pay so much in play, uh, player wages, but we'll still be around. This could yeah. have serious, serious impact on, on some of those teams down there. You know, it's Bournemouth, for, for example, you know. Yeah, <clears throat> we know they're very close. They yeah. are, they, they, oh, we mentioned it on the, um, uh, said it on the Friday Night Social a few weeks ago, that they are, they rely, them and the likes of Burnley and others rely so heavily on gate receipts and things and TV revenue that it could kill some clubs. Uh, but I'm not getting into the debate because it, we know it's money. We know it yeah. is money. We know that is a driving factor. It is fuck all to do with health. Absolutely <laughs> nothing to do with health. And anyone who can argue the fact that it is, I will I will point you back and say you're a liar because if you if if you can do the things that you're suggesting when everyone else in the country is having to do this, this, this if that's the case, why are you reporting on Carl Walker? Why? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Why? 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 Well, 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 Andy, it, it's so. So here's the the, the conundrum, right? The, those clubs, Aston Villa, Bournemouth, have said, okay, neutral stadiums can take relegation off the table. They said it, right? Okay, you yeah, 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 yeah. The Premier League, because of the TV money and the TV companies, said you can't do that. You cannot ask us to pay money for meaningless yeah. games. Yeah. So they're putting pressure on the Premier League. Yeah. So then, what's the, 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 those clubs are entitled to say? Guess what? If you want us to play six games away in a neutral stadium yeah. from our from our home, then take it off the table. Yeah. So it, it's again, it it comes down to greed and money. It's not even about football. Well, you know, you know, I read, we I read an article today, and I, I, how much of it is true? I have no idea. But they were, they were suggesting in the article that if Liverpool, if this does go behind closed doors. Which we, if it, if it, if it ever does happen, and I've still got a doubt, if it does go behind closed doors, and Liverpool play the first two games, they only need two games for the win and everything else. Yeah. They'll play, they'll play the rest of the remaining their games with the kids, yeah. and they won't risk any of their stars. How the hell it's not. is the integrity of the Premier yep. League? Yep. Going to happen when you've got Liverpool with a real reduced squad because they don't want to risk any plays for the start of the next season um, against somebody who's fighting relegation and whatever, you know, or Champions League spot. Mm. It could be City, it could be Leicester, it could be Chelsea, Chelsea. It could be United. Chelsea could be... Are playing Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, how, how, how is that not affecting the integrity of the whole? <laughs> you've got, you've got, you, you, you have got, players can't hug each other, players can't, you know, they can't touch each other, players, how are they going to tackle? Then we've got the 30, well, again, we might, even, hey, I tell you what, we might even play 30 minutes each half. Oh, and then I tell you what, we've got, I mean, Jesus Christ, it's a completely different game. And they talk, and they use the word integrity. Yeah. Yeah. Go on, Tom. It, an example of that is in the Carabao Cup earlier on in the season, Aston Villa versus Liverpool. Liverpool yeah. had the game in the Super Cup. Two days um, after the Carabao Cup, they send the yeah. youngsters. Aston Villa beat them with a full strength squad, 5 0. How is that? Yeah. It's not, that wouldn't happen if their full strength squad was there. It's just not right in any sort of way if Liverpool did that. Because it, it, it's going to happen. If they win the league, they're not going to waste their players, are they? Because they're going to prepare them and get ready for next season. It's just not going to happen. And it's not fair on because it wouldn't have happened if it was a real season with no problems. Well, we've seen, we've seen that before, haven't we? Anyway, we've seen that yeah. with United and the FA Cup uh, when yeah. they went overseas. We, we've seen them accept that. We've seen them accept it. Yeah. You know, but now the Turk talking about, you can't use the word integrity because... It's all about money and it's about, you know, don't tell us about integrity because it's about money. And How dare Martin, you? Yeah, I know, Martin. Well, <coughs> you just said, <laughs> excuse me, point there, Andy, but it's been accepted before. Do any, does anyone remember Mick McCarthy at Wolves when he was a manager? Yeah. yeah. And if you remember, he didn't put a full strength side out and I can't remember where it yeah. was. He got fined by the Premier League for that. Yeah. 
He did. Mm. Now, mm. Mate, Wolves were at the time were in a relegation battle. Yeah. And I think they were playing, they were playing from like Liverpool, you know, they'd gone somewhere where it, where he just thought, you know what, I think they were playing yeah. a bottom of the team a week after. Yeah. And he said, I want to rest my top players and I'm going to save them for that game. Yeah. This mm. is a dead rubber. The Premier League warned him and fined him for it. Mm. So the, the 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 Premier League in a way is saying, like you just said, when it's the big teams doing it, it's a different story. Oh, completely. It's a totally different story. Oh, and totally. I do agree with you. It's the problem is if we get rid of the, the relegation battle, it's this word integrity. It's such you no matter what happens here, you're not ever gonna keep the integrity. Because you're gonna yeah, you, no. to please everybody, you're either gonna have to get rid of the relegation, and then like the, the like you said with Sky and BT, what what's the point in showing them games? Because it's gonna be nothing. There's yeah. nothing to play for, you know. Aston Villa, I think I've got a game in hand as well. Yeah. So you, you've got so many variables here, and and I think the biggest thing that is a problem here is Germany and Italy are gonna restart. That's called confirmed. Germany are going. So, from there. Yeah, Isn't it that's 15, the problem yeah? now because Germany are going and Italy about to go. We've well, I mean, I, mean, I, I, we think, I think I think I think we'll have to. What today's the eighth of May? They're they're going to yeah. go in seven days or something like that. Yeah. Uh, they start yeah. they start a week today, don't they? Apparently in Germany. Yeah. Well, but well, moment, well, 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 well. At the moment, <laughs> until yeah. until Angela yeah. Merkel until Angela Merkel goes, that's ah, sod this. We've just had another spike in. Deaths yeah. and that's going and and don't don't be surprised if that happens. Do not be surprised if that happens. Um, but they're going to be the test case, aren't they? Everyone's going to be looking at it, going, "Let's have a watch of this game behind closed doors." And fucking hell, that's shite. He wants to watch. <laughs> he wants. He wants to watch that garbage. You know. And, and, then, and then and then some. And then somebody gets coronavirus and. Seven of the players or eight of the players are now in isolation, and then everything falls apart. And you know what? The would surprise me to probably go. That's a bollocks. I hear this absolute garbage. <laughs> uh, right. Let's go back to what Andy said six weeks, seven weeks ago, and go. <laughs> we'll cancel the season. We'll give you the title. We'll do this. We'll or we'll we'll start the season again next season, all on the same points, and we will fund. We will get a business loan that will secure, and we'll fund the whole of the. Premier League, EFL, National League, you'll be safe, blah, blah, blah. Let's just resume it next season on the same yeah. points. And then there's no argument then. You've all had an, op an equal opportunity to be promoted Leeds, be promoted West, West Brom, be relegated West Ham, be relegated Norwich. You've all had the equal chance. There's no arguments in it. But, um, yeah, I mean, I just find the word integrity used by, you know, the... the, the <laughs> The Premier League, I find it absolutely appalling. Well, Andy, to your point, the word integrity means moral uprightness. Absolutely. The, the moral thing yeah. to do is, is to do Not what you like, just prescribed, yeah. or what we talked about, Chris and I talked about. Yeah. Going back to play now and the, this this yeah. mad situation is not moral and it's no. not upright, in my opinion. No. It's not. No, absolutely spot on. Absolutely spot on. There'll be people who are desperate for football to come back. And I understand that. Um, I'm, I am definitely not one of them. Uh, but I couldn't give a shit about football right now, if I'm being really honest with you. I don't care when it comes back. Um, I just find it abhorrent um, that people can even, you know, when not just businesses, but everyday life, people, you know, you can't, until every, everything is back to normal, I don't understand how you can even consider having football back. I just can't. I just. I just I, I have a find question for you, Andy. That question for amazing. you. Okay, so question for you. So Premier League wants to come back. What happens to the FA Cup then? Because we're in, we're still in the hunt. Well, what happens? Why is no one talking like... about the FA Cup? Apparently, it's going to be played at Wembley. <gasps> All the rest of the oh. ties are going to be played at Wembley. Oh, that's good. How long is that going to last? Yeah, yeah but yeah. doesn't that get Wembley paid for? Even though there's no thing, it's a way of. Oh, you got you got you going, 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 going back to money again, aren't you? Yeah, we'll uh, play forty that, games. That, we'll play forty games at Wembley in two weeks. That's definitely possible. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I, 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 I like I said, I, 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 I don't. Yeah, but contracts are one thing. 
They've, the FIFA have already said that they'll extend contracts if, if 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 players want to extend them. There's no, there's going to be no issues with player contracts if they want to extend them. FIFA have said that. That's no problem whatsoever. It's just even. It goes back to the core basics of should footballers be put in be put at risk to be playing football when nobody else is being forced to be put at risk um, to do it. Great, great, great. Yeah, Chris is a prime example. Chris. I'm not going to say anything about what you do and things like that, but Chris is in a situation where he's got a vulnerable child, blah, 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 blah. Uh, now, he was in a position where he was being put under, you know, situations where he could quite easily have caught it. What did what did that area of business do? Send him home and say, absolutely no way. Are we having this? Yeah. And sent him up, sent him out for twelve weeks and said no, 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 oh, until whatever happens next. But you know that 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 is the way it is. Now, yeah. no, nobody's forcing him. Say no, no, no. You've got to stay here. Yeah. You've got yeah. to do this. And you know, blah, blah blah. If you don't, like the Premier League have said, the ramifications will be. Oh, you wait until your next contract comes round, and we're going to mm-hmm. make sure that you get paid this, or you don't go into that part of the business, and you don't. No, they didn't. They did the human thing and said, "You go home, and you make sure that you're safe, so that your son is safe." Yeah. The moral, the, the upright thing. Yeah, but on that, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, but on that, first of June, I might be back in work. Yeah. So where's the mo- in three weeks' time, less yeah. than three weeks, I might be back again, full time, off, gone. This isn't going away. In yeah, three but weeks. They, yeah, but they have they not turned around and said it, it, they not just turned around and said today that there'll be nobody going back to secondary school until the end of June. Yeah, I'm, I'm not in secondary though. Well, you're in primary. Mm-hmm. Well, First of June. Pri- the, yeah. the, the word is that we are currently we are getting ready to reopen on the first of June. Martin, isn't it only just but, like reduced but, years though? Yeah, but that's only it's that's, that's, only, six. Six. that's only, it's only people, isn't it? It's only one year group, isn't it? No, nope, no, nope, we don't know yet. We at All the right. moment we are planning for the last six weeks to wow. be back. Because at the moment, Boris well, the PM wants it wants to start getting things going. This is what all this Sunday is going to be about. It's, it's a pathway to get everything back open again eventually, which is fine. I believe in that. But the idea is primary schools are going to be going first because they want them in. Yeah, but hold on one second here. I totally get what you're saying, and I'm fully with you in the whole mm. argument of this. Totally with you. I am on your side on this. You're a key worker. Footballers yeah. are not key workers. Oh no! Yeah, totally. Yeah, totally agree with that. Yeah. yeah. If you were a police officer, if you're a prison officer, if you're a fireman, if you were in the army, if you were whatever, you are a key worker. Yeah. Football, yeah. football, footballers are not key no. workers. No. Like I'm not a key worker. Like Carl isn't a key. Work. I don't I'm not, know. Carl, no, I'm not. Tom, Tom, if he had a job, he would be a key. Unless you're in those professions, you are not a key worker that is essential. Football is not essential for one thing mm. other than money. And what the yeah. money they bring in is irrelevant in the bigger scheme of things for the economy. Irrelevant. Because the clubs are still paying those players' salaries every week. And their salaries are being taxed every week, which is going into the government. Yeah. Yeah. So about, I know there are players on furlough. I know I understand that. So before anyone goes, oh, hold on a minute, my club in Division One, they play. Yeah, I understand that. But in the biggest scheme of things, what Premier League players are paying towards the economy in their taxation <laughs> completely destroys every other league in that we have in England. It destroys yeah. it by you know, you know a thousand what? times. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I saw something on social media this week, and it was. Picture of a nurse and a picture of De Bruyne. And it had this nurse, £13 an hour. De Bruyne, £7,500 an hour. Yeah. Which one's more important? And you know what? I've never thought about it that way. I never have. And you know what's really, really sad? For the first few weeks, we'll all go, thank you, NHS. When all this is over, I bet we're right back to normal again. Yeah. 
I mean, I mean, the thing, the, thing, the, the thing is with those things, though. I mean, I, I feel that's a bit unfair on Kevin De Bruyne because it's not Kevin De Bruyne's yeah. fault. He, he doesn't say. Oh, yeah, know that. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's, just, that, that's, that's just market value. That's just, yeah. you know, you, you could quite easily turn around and put a picture of, you know, Tom Cruise and whatever else on there and go, well, well look at how much he gets paid 200 yeah. million for his film. And he yeah. only spends six months and he gets 200 million quid for his film. And, well, you know, it's well, I, no, it's, I uh, yeah, I, I, no, 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 I know you're not. No, I know you're not. But um, anyway, that's sort of uh, the first question of part two, and it is yeah, it's one today with language which has been used, which I find really, really disturbing. Um, when when you've got people who might have yes, there'll be the cynics that will say, oh, of course, the bottom six don't want to be relegated, and they're going to say this and. But hold on a minute. If you're, a, if this is a democracy, and this is VE Day today, celebrating 75 years since we got rid of a tyrannical dictator uh, in Adolf Hitler, and today we've come out, we've got the Premier League coming out with a statement that warns somebody for voting against democracy and integrity, as Carl eloquently put before the definition of of integrity. Then Jesus Christ, what 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 is going on here? It worries me. It really, really does. But anyway, we're on to the next part. Uh, when we come back, we're going to be doing the golden question. But anyway, stick around. I don't know what's going on with the golden question, but we'll see you shortly. <laughs> 